Hello everyone! We are in Natural Science Unit number 2. We are going to deal with the locomotor system, the skeletal system, the muscular system, and healthy habits. The skeletal system has got four main functions, gives our body its shape, supports our body, allows us to move, and protects delicate organs such as brain, lungs, heart. Bones. They are hard and rigid. They contain mineral substances like calcium. Here you are the three types. Flat bones, such as the bones in the cranium, long bones, such as the femur or the fibula, and short bones, such as the vertebrae. The end of bones is covered by cartilage. Bones meet at joints, and they are held by ligaments. Here you are an example. It is a knee, and you can see both bones together. There are two types of joints. Fixed, bones in the cranium, for example, and movable bones in the elbows and wrists. The skeletal system is made up of over 200 bones. Head, located in cranium and face, they are flat and they protect the brain. Torso, spine, ribs, sternum, clavicles and pelvis. Ribs protect heart, lungs, stomach and liver. And spine consists of 33 vertebrae and it protects the spinal cord. And finally, limbs. They are long bones or short bones. And here you are a picture of the skeleton, where you can see bones in the head, in the torso, and also in arms and legs. The muscular system. Muscles can be attached to bones, like the skeletal muscles, or found in internal organs, like the heart. Here you are a picture of the muscular system. There are three types of skeletal muscles. Head muscles. These muscles are flat, and we use them to smile or speak. Torso muscles. These muscles are flat and large. We can rotate our body, bend at the waist, and limbs muscles. Many of these muscles are long. We can move our legs, arms. But how does the locomotor system work? Most muscles work in pairs. When one contracts, the other relaxes. In a flexing movement, for example in your arm, the bicep contracts and the triceps relaxes. The bicep pulls the radius so the arm bends at the elbow. And the extending movement, the bicep relaxes and the triceps contracts. The triceps pulls the ulna so the arm straightens. Here you are the example. In the flexing movement, the biceps contracts and the triceps relaxes, and in the extending movement, the biceps relaxes and the triceps contracts. There are some injuries that we need to take into account. Bone fractures, sprains, these involve damage to the ligaments, usually caused by twisting, and finally, muscle strains. These consist of an involuntary and prolonged muscle contraction. Finally, we need to talk about healthy habits. The first one is a healthy diet. Vitamin D helps the body to absorb the calcium. Another one is sleep and leisure. Sleep improves memory skills. Leisure means free time. Physical activity, we need to exercise to develop elasticity. And finally, good posture. Bad posture can deform your spinal and column. And this is the end of the lesson, students. Remember to watch the video as many times as you please, or as you need. Bye bye, see you in the classroom. Created using Powtoon.